1819 State of Texas versus Jesu Eduardo Martinez Cantu. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Travis Hanks in the state of Texas. Defense. Well, Robert Mauer for defending your honor. And are you Jesus Eduardo Martinez Cantu? See. Si. Yes. All right. We do have an interpreter here. If you could raise your right hand, do you solemnly swear firm you will faithfully translate from English into Spanish and Spanish into English? So help you, God. I do, Your Honor. All right. You can lower your hand if you'll state your name for the record. Arlene Abrams, license number 2081. All right. Have both parties had a chance to review the PSI report state? Yes, Your Honor. Defense? Yes. Any objections to the PSI report state? No objections. Defense? No, just, just uh, argument. Okay. According to the plea bargaining agreement, punishment is to be assessed at a cap of 10 years in the prison, and the state is remaining silent on your application. However, the state does reserve the right to speak to any uh, factual issues. Defense, you may proceed. Yeah, Judge, if I could correct one thing. Uh, I did want to make a clarification. The uh, page two shows three arrests for the defendant. There's actually only one. The, the second. The, the second and third charges, one was created in error and one was rejected as extraneous offense. I, I think it was more of a clerical issue. Um, but speaking to the, the instant offense, uh, my client uh, engaged in a consensual sexual relationship with a girl who, who had told him she was 17. Um, she was not, uh, obviously. Um, the The... The big issue is his actions uh, have affected him and essentially uh, harmed his family. Uh, the court had appointed an immigration lawyer uh, on this case. Uh, and whether he gets uh, probation or, or, or deferred or whether he gets TDC, he's going to be deported. Uh, and like the only issue is a question of when. Uh, and obviously, uh, my client's aware he broke the law, uh, and he is willing to accept uh, the consequences. His wife is actually present, uh, which, uh, surprisingly enough, and she's supportive. She doesn't feel comfortable testifying. She doesn't speak English either. But I did uh, talk with her through the court, uh, with through the translator, about what was happening. Uh, they have two children together who are going to be affected and harmed by his actions, but that's the consequences of his decision, and he understands that. Uh, I would ask the court to consider granting him deferred so he can be deported right away and, and uh, attempt to at least support the family from Mexico. I'm not aware of their immigration status. That's not part of my job. Um, and if the court does not feel it's appropriate to grant him deferred, I'd ask the court to sentence him as low as possible based upon the facts uh, and uh, give him credit for the time served so he can try to get out as soon as possible uh, and uh, get back to Mexico and, and try to support his family. All right. Anything uh, you wish to say, Mr. Cantu? No. No. You're sure? See? Yes. Judge, I talked to him. He didn't feel comfortable saying anything. Okay. All right. Uh, I always review everything, and I did review the PSI report. I did review the stipulations that were entered into. And I do note from reading the stipulations that the complainant states that she told you that she was 17. And my understanding is that the complainant was actually 16 and not 17. Right, Judge. And I do note that the state has not had any contact with the complainant for a long time or with the complainant's mother. Then finally, the state was able to reach the complainant's mother again. But according to the PSI report, there has been no response. That's, that's my understanding as well, Judge. All right. Uh, Mr. Cantu. Uh, the court is going to find you guilty. The court will sentence you to two years in the prison. Give you credit for any time served. Chapter 62 registration is a lifetime registration. 
Do you understand? Okay. Okay. No, do you understand? I'll talk to him about it. I understand. I'll explain everything to him, Judge. Okay. Showing you what's entitled trial court certification of defendants' rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? See. Yes. Right. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waived your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? See. Yes, I understand. Because this is a felony conviction, you're not alleging over what a weapon or ammunition is. You need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. All right. And as a part of your sentence as well, the court will order that there is to be no re-entry into the United States unless it's done legally. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. All right. Is there anything else? I think for the state. Not from defense, Judge. All right, we can go off the record. Mr. Cantu, you would not be in this situation if you would have been faithful to your wife. And you have to ask yourself, is this two years worth what you did? And because the way the law is written, I would always tell my clients, these are basically... statutory. Either you did it or you didn't do it. There is no excuses. The law is the law. And the law says if somebody is under the age of 17, you cannot engage in this conduct. It doesn't matter if they told you they were 17 or 18, or they look like they're 17 or 18 or 19. I tell my students that all the time. And that goes for the females as well. Doesn't matter if the boy, the girl tells you they're 17, 18, or 19, or they look 17, 18, 19, or if they're at the club. If they are underage and you engage in contact with them of this nature, it's illegal. You understand? See, All right, so look to you. Thank you, Judge. You're welcome. Thank you. Do you need me to sign anything? Yes, please, Your Honor. Our 1686A. State of Texas versus Selena and Pettis. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Hank Wilkins for the state. Defense. Brian Thornton for defense. And are you Selena and Pettis? Excuse me. Showing you what's entitled motion to enter adjudication of guilt and revoke community supervision and state's motion to supplement pending motion to enter adjudication of guilt and revoke community supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. Are you the same Selena Ann Pettis who was placed on deferred adjudication in 2015 CR 1686A for the offense of possession with intent to deliver a controlled substance? Penalty group one, four grams to 200 grams on August 31st, 2015 for a period of five years. Is that you? Yes, ma'am. All right, state. Violated condition number five. In Bear County, Texas, the defendant Selena Ann Perez did then and there fail to report to the supervision officer for the months of February, March, and April 2019 in violation of condition number five. Is that true or not true? That's true. And Your Honor, we waive and abandon the other violations. Any objections? No objection. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number five, the court could find it true, grant the motion, find you guilty, and sentence you up to life in prison and up to $10,000 fine? Yes, ma'am. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number five? Yes, ma'am. Court's going to find violation of condition number five true. Counsel, I need you to fill out the trial court certification of defendants' rights to appeal form. Oh. Sorry. Oh, no problem. All right. Is there a proposed agreement? There is, Your Honor. Uh, uh, we are asking you to uh, find the defendant guilty, uh, and, and uh, the state will take into consideration cause number NM. Seven two zero zero two one, uh, and sentence the defendant to five years TDC. All right, cause number seven two zero zero two one. Yes. What is that charge? That's um, uh, pos uh, possession in a uh, possessing a prohibited substance in a correctional facility. Right. Are you asking the court to follow this agreement? Yes, ma'am. Are you waiving your right to appeal? Yes, ma'am. In defense, is this the agreement? It is. All right. Could you raise your right hand for me, please? 
Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes, ma'am. You can lower your hand, state your name for the record. Selena Bettis. All right. Why are you not reporting for probation? I just had some, um, my, my children, my daughter had a baby and I had to help her because of. How does that exclude you from being able to pick up the phone and report to probation? I made a mistake, ma'am. I, I understand that I made a mistake. That's why I'm willing to. Nope. You didn't make a mistake. You made a choice. Let me explain to you. What's the difference between a mistake and a choice? Let's say I come to court. I have a black umbrella because it's raining outside. I know it's going to rain outside. The person sitting next to me has a black umbrella. And when I leave the court, I grab my umbrella because I know it's raining outside. I go outside. I open the umbrella to protect myself from the rain. And I look underneath the umbrella and my initials are not there. That's a mistake. I mistakenly took the wrong black umbrella. Let me tell you what a choice is. I don't know it's going to rain. My mom hasn't called me and said, Stephanie, it's going to rain. Be sure to take your umbrella. And I come to court and I'm sitting next to somebody who has an umbrella and people are saying, oh, it's raining outside. And I say, curses, I don't have my umbrella, but I don't want to get my hair wet. And I just take somebody's umbrella and I go outside. You know what that is? That's a choice. That's not a mistake. So you didn't make a mistake. You made a choice. So why did you choose not to report to probation. May I speak with my attorney, ma'am? Oh, sure. Yes. Sorry, I'm scared. Uh, I was scared at the time, same as I am right now. Okay, you're whispering and I can't hear you. I said I was scared at the time, same as I am right now. Scared of what? You were supposed to report. Yes. So what are you afraid of with reporting? Of being back here. That makes no sense to me. If part of your conditions is for you to report, you report. Yes. So what is the fear of reporting? I've, I don't have a fear of reporting. All right. All right. Is there anything else? No. Have you done, has she done anything on probation? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, have you done anything on probation? I've done some, yes, ma'am. What have you done? Um, I mean, I know it doesn't show like as far as um, the narcotics, but I, the, the classes, but I did do some of the classes. I, I did need to do the community service, which I mean, of course, I, I'd be, I know it's not an option at this point, but I, I was will, willing to do probation and whatever I needed to do. So what classes are you saying you've done? just the um, Narconics and, and Alcoholics Anonymous. Oh, so you've done AA meetings. Yes, ma'am.
the programs that were listed originally, no, none of those were completed. Okay. All right. This is what the court is going to do. The court is finding violation of condition number five true. The court will find you guilty. The court will sentence you to eight years in the prison and give you credit for any time served. And taking consideration, night mag number 720021. If you would like, I would have you recommended for the therapeutic community. It doesn't increase the time that you're in custody, but they will be able to help you with any drug issues you say that you have. Would you like the court to refer you for that? Um, yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, and I'll ask for the therapeutic community. However, I have no jurisdiction to force them to place you in the therapeutic community, but they most definitely will not place you in the ther therapeutic community if you do not ask for it. All right, I'm going to show you what's entitled trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. And did you sign it? Yes. You do have a limited right to appeal. That right to appeal is as it relates to the allegations in the motion, not the fact that you're on deferred adjudication. Do you understand? Yes. All right, we can go off the record. Uh, you are going to have to do better with your life. Yes. Otherwise, you're going to continue to be back here. All right, and I'm sorry, one more thing on the record. Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you need to speak to an attorney. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. Good luck to you. Do better. Thank you. Let me know this way.